Hey, what's up, War Fam? Get your beach towel and sunscreen because we're about to have some fun in the sun. That's right, my friends, Talk Horror is going to hit the beach because in this video, we're going to take a look at 10 things Michael Myers and Killer Sharks have in common. But before we get started, please make sure you're part of the Horror Fam by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I touched on this subject at the end of my 10 Things You Didn't Know About Halloween Resurrection video, in which Freddy, played by Busta Rhymes, Let's see what you got. <laughs> drops a sage observation about serial killer Michael Myers as he's taken away in a body bag. Mr. Harris, would you like to make a statement? What can you tell us about Michael Myers? Michael Myers is not a sound bite, a spinoff tie-in, some kind of celebrity scandal. Michael Myers is a killer shark. Most viewers didn't give this line much thought, but now it's time to take this topic into deep waters and really sink our teeth into it. <laughs> Number one, they both eat too much protein. We all know sharks are pretty damn narcissistic when it comes to improving their physique always eating as much protein as they can. But this dude from Halloween Resurrection seems to think Myers has a major protein problem himself. Never underestimate the effect of a poor diet. Too much protein, not enough zinc. Next thing you know, you're cutting up bodies in your bathtub. I always thought this dude may have been full of shit. But this must have really resurrected something in Rob Zombie's mind, because just look at this. God damn! To be fair, I think there's more than protein at work here. Myers is the damn Lance Armstrong of the slashers, apparently. Performance enhancing drugs. Number two, they both tried to kill LL Cool J. Poor LL Cool J just can't catch a damn break. First, Michael Myers tried to kill him in Halloween H2O, and not even a year later he had killer sharks trying to turn him into a man witch. And to my knowledge, he never lived out his dream of becoming an author. Johnny, it's unrealistic. This whole writing career is unrealistic. Number three, neither actually wear overalls. In Halloween Resurrection, you may remember this legendary bit of dialogue given to us courtesy of Busta Rhymes. Michael Myers is a killer shark. Baggy ass overalls. It gets his kicks off of killing everything and everyone that he comes across. That's all. Despite Busta clearly being the scholar that he is, neither Myers nor Killer Sharks actually wear overalls. In all fairness, there may actually be an explanation for this. Busta has a long standing love affair with overalls. <laughs> Number four, they have black eyes. Remember the blackest eyes speech delivered by Dr. Loomis in the original Halloween? The blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. Well, Quint says something very similar in Jaws. You know the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Oh, did he just call sharks baby dolls? Number five, they eat dogs. It's rare when we get a look at Myers' need to feed, but we got a peek in the original Halloween when he scarfs down Lassie. It's still warm. He got hungry. Most people wouldn't think of the canine being part of a shark's diet, too, but that's how this poor guy lost his puppy. Everyone forgets about poor Pippet the dog being eaten. Mostly because of Alex Kittner getting annihilated right after. <laughs> Alex Kittner, what an attention whore. Bruh. Number six, both try to kill children. Well, we saw what happened to Alex Kittner, but Myers has also tried to take out some kitties along the way. He's just terrible at it. Why can't Myers be that cool uncle like Gary Busey in Silver Bullet, who just shows up, gets drunk, 
builds you a hot rod of a wheelchair, gets drunk, laughs obnoxiously, gives you fireworks to blow your hand off, gets drunk, and goes home. <laughs> You're really missing out on those golden years, Mikey. Hey, Jesus, Palomino. Number seven, they have imposters. I, I'm only a dolphin, man. A dolphin? Well, okay. <laughs> They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, L. Ron Hubbard. Myers and Sharks have had their share of imitators. Let's not forget these little paint gobblers and Jaws who incited a panic and nearly got themselves shot in the process. He made me do it. He told me to do it. And no matter how Gary Busey drunk you get, you'll never wipe away the memory of Busta Rhymes dressing up as Michael Myers. God damn. What the hell somebody gotta do to get a little decent help up in this motherfucker? Number eight, the 5 0 hate them. If you thought the cops had it out for Randy Quaid, he ain't got nothing on Mikey and Killer Sharks. Mike's pissed off about every cop in every movie he's been in, typically by killing their daughter. Three kids. Three, one of them was Annie. And let's not forget when the shark in Jaws got on Chief Brody's bad side. He was already pissed about it eating people, but by God when it broke that dock. You're asking Brody to put up with murder and vandalism? That's just one step too damn far, buddy. Number nine, both try to kill their siblings. Mikey's always had a problem getting along with his siblings. And sharks definitely have the same problem. Before they are born, the sand tiger shark pups compete with their siblings. In fact, the strongest pup in each of the two wombs devours its weaker brothers and sisters. Fuck the ocean. Number 10, you can kill them with oxygen tanks. Oxygen tanks, it's their only weakness. Let's not forget that Myers got his ass handed to him by an oxygen tank. It is time, Michael. And the shark from Jaws was dumb enough to use an oxygen tank as a chew toy, so its fate was pretty similar. Fire, you son of a and that's it for this vid- Um, who is it? Telegram, sir. Telegram? Is this a killer shark? <laughs>